Starting off with my Meet Matrimony um, by The Balm Cosmetics, I am using this color right here to put all over my eyelids. Um, I use a primer on my face, that's why you see a little bit of like a white cast or foam, or I may look a little ashy, but I promise you I'm not. I just use the primer by Dermalogica. Now I'm using my Mario palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I am creating a crease. So this is going to be one of my transition colors and I'm just buffing that out. Using my Nubian palette by Juvea's Place, I'm using this dark color to even darken my crease. I won't be bringing that all the way up because I want it to look like a gradient look, ombre effect. So I'm just keeping that close to my crease. Now I'm going back in with the same brush I used before and just buffing that out. Now I'm using my favorite concealer by Too Faced. It's called Born This Way and it's in dark. And I'm using that to create my, cre well, create my cut crease. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna basically blend that over and I won't be bringing it all the way over to the other side of my lid, just kind of keeping it towards the middle and then like blending it out a bit. So I'm using that same color I used first all over my eyelid just to set the concealer so it doesn't move anywhere. Going back into my Juvea's Place palette, I am using the two darkest shades and I'm going to smoke out the corners of my eyes. Now I'm using this loose pigment by Naked Cosmetics called Desert Sunset 2 which I received in my Ipsy bag for the month of January and I basically just sprayed a little bit of my MAC Fix Plus onto my brush and kind of dipped it into the loose pigment and this is the look it's given me nice and shiny and pearly. So I'm going back in with that darker shade I was using earlier from the Juvea Place palette and I am just going over where my cut crease should be to make sure that it looks nice and sharp and dark. For my lashes today I'll be using Demi Wispies by Kiss and I basically just double stack them, put two pairs together um, to create more of a dramatic look. So here I'm spraying my MAC Fix Plus on my face before I use my foundation. My foundation I'll be using today is by Maybelline. It's the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. And I'm using my Royal Brush, my Royal Complexion Brush to apply my foundation. I've really been using this brush a lot lately. It's basically uh, my go-to brush for foundation and concealer application absolutely love it you guys could find this I believe at Target um, and it may be at Walmart not sure but this brush is a bomb here I'm using my Lancome concealer and the color I'm using today is caramel
so after I finally finished blending, um, I am going in with my Morphe Banana Loose Powder and I'm just using that to set all the places I put my concealer. I like to make sure I set my laugh lines and my nose very well just because one my nose is super oily especially in the summertime even though it's winter time right now but it I don't know for some reason after this summer my nose has been have been like my nose has been more oily I don't know why but I guess my skin type is just changing but um, my laugh lines I've been seeing an increase in basically them showing through my makeup more often so I've been trying to set that area way more than usual and it's been working out for me so while I'm letting my face bake a little bit I am going into my NYX duo contour palette in the, I believe it's called wine spiced wine um, it's the darkest one and I'm using that contour color to contour basically this contour duo I've been using for a while now like I haven't been using anything else to contour I'm kind of stuck on this because I love it so much it's like the perfect color for me Now I'm just dusting away all of the powder I used earlier to bake and I'm just making sure that everything's to my liking and set properly. So I'm letting that powder set a little bit more around my laugh lines and I'm using the same contour color with a smaller brush to contour my nose. And to ensure that I don't have any flashback and that everything is super set, I'm making sure that I drench my face in MAC Flick Fix Plus, but you can use any setting spray that you have. And this is where the real, real work comes in. Two hours later. I got this blush in my Ipsy bag as well this month and it's by Model Co and it's in Peach Bellini. Now I'm using my Queen's Life highlighter that I've been so obsessed with lately and this color is in Zion. If you guys want to get this or any other color or anything by them, make sure you use my coupon code, which I will leave below. Now I'm using my Glow Kit by Estee Edit, and I will be applying the lightest shade to the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bone. So here I'm just lining my lips with one of my favorite liners um, by Clinique and it's in Chocolate Chip. 
Using NYX lip pencils, I applied rose first and then pale pink to the center. Now I'm using my lip gloss by Clinique. I lied, it's not Clinique. It's by Unique. <laughs> Those two rhyme, so I got thrown off. Anyway, it's by Unique and it's in the color Lovable. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.